morning. My name is Shivani. I am one of the new Wiseant tutors here. And I am here bright and early today. Um, so, yeah, it looks like you needed some help with the quotient rule to calculate the derivatives of the trig functions secant, cosecant, and cotangent. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I had a tickle there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have set up the question over here. So I've just listed the known functions and their derivatives. So like sine x, the derivative is cosine x. The derivative of cosine is negative sine of x. And then the derivative of tangent x is secant x squared. So using these known values and the quotient rule, we can determine the derivatives of these uh, other functions, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. So we basically have to prove that 1, 2, and 3 is the case. So I've also written down the quotient rule here. The derivative of a function f of x divided by g of x is g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x. Let me just put these in the parentheses so that you can separate them. And all of this is over g of x squared. So let's go ahead and get started using this rule in each of these uh, trig functions that we're asked to find the derivative. So let me open up another board. So we know that secant of x, and this is question two. Eh, let's just start off with question two because I already wrote it. So secant of x is equal to 1 over cosine of x. And then let's go ahead and use the quotient rule to find the derivative of secant of x. So, so let's just say... Um, so let's just say that f of x is the top function, g of x is the bottom function. So then f prime of x would be 0, since f of x is just 1. And then g prime of x is the derivative of the cosine function. And if we look back at our table, we can see that's negative sine of x. Now let's just go ahead and plug all these values of f of x, g of x, f prime of x, and g prime of x into our quotient rule. So let me just uh, try to see if I can screenshot this rule here real quick. Okay. All right, so there's our quotient rule. So let's go ahead and plug all these values into this rule. So the derivative would be g prime, or sorry, g of x times f prime of x, which is 0, minus f of x, which is 1, times g prime of x, which is negative sine x,
over g of x squared. So g of x is cosine of x. So that would be equal to So cosine of x times 0 is going to be 0. 1 times negative sine of x is just going to be negative sine of x. And then cosine x squared can be rewritten as cosine squared x. Or you could just leave it as it is. It's up to you. So now we would have, so negative and negative cancel out. It becomes sine of x over cosine squared x. And this can be rewritten as sine of x over cosine of x times 1 over cosine of x. And then if you remember our trigonometric identities, sine of x is the same thing, or sorry, sine of x over cosine of x is the same thing as tangent of x. And then 1 over cosine of x is the same thing as secant of x. So hey, there you have it. This proves that this proves that the derivative of secant of x is in fact equal to secant of x times the tangent of x. So yeah, there's the proof for question number two. Now let's move on to another problem. Let's go ahead and do question one. Um, the derivative of cosecant x using the fact that cosecant is one over sine. So this is question one. There's the quotient rule again. So, yeah. so let's go ahead and figure out fx, g of x, f prime of x, and g prime of x. So f of x is the top function, which is going to be 1 in this case. g of x is the bottom function, which is going to be sine of x f prime of x is 0, and g prime of x is the cosine of x. If we look back at our derivative table, the derivative of sine is cosine. So let's go ahead and plug and chug these values into the quotient rule here. So 
Um, now we would have g of x times f prime of x, which would be sine of x times 0. minus f of x, which is 1, times g prime of x, which is cosine of x, right, so we got g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x, all over g of x squared, so sine of x, squared. And then this would simplify to 0 minus cosine of x over the square of sine x, which can be written as sine squared x, if you like. Or again, you can leave it as it is. It doesn't matter. So then this would simplify to negative cosine of x over sine squared x. which would be negative cosine x over sine x times 1 over sine x. Now, using trigonometric identities, we can deduce that negative cosine of x over sine x is negative cotangent x. And we can also deduce that 1 over sine x is cosecant x. Ah. And hey, there you have it. This just proves that the derivative of the cosecant x is negative CSC, negative cosecant x, cotangent x. So yeah, there's our proof for problem one. The derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x times cotangent of x. Now let's go ahead and do this last problem, uh, proving that the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant x squared, or negative cosecant squared x. So we can go ahead and uh, start by saying that cotangent x is 1 over tangent. There's a product, or sorry, the quotient rule for your reference. So again, fx is going to be the top function, which is 1 g of x is going to be the bottom function, which is tangent of x. 
f prime of x is going to be 0. And then g prime of x is going to be secant squared x. And you can also write it as secant of x squared if you like, but again, it doesn't really matter how you choose to write it, it's the same thing. So let's go ahead and plug in these values into this quotient rule. So g of x times f prime of x would be tangent of x times 0. f of x times g prime of x would be 1 times secant squared x. over g of x squared, so that would be tangent of x squared. So then this would simplify to 0 minus secant squared x over tangent squared x, or tangent of x squared, however you want to write it. So this would be negative secant squared x over tangent squared x so this would be we can write both the numerator and the denominator as fractions so this would be negative 1 over cosine squared x because if you recall secant is 1 over cosine so negative secant squared x will be negative 1 over cosine squared x and then if you recall tangent is sine over cosine so tangent squared x would be sine squared x over cosine squared x. So when we divide by a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. So this is the same thing as saying negative 1 over cosine squared x. multiplied by the reciprocal of this guy over here. So the reciprocal of sine squared x over cosine squared x is simply going to be cosine squared x over sine squared x. Now, hey, notice that cosine squared x in the numerator and cosine squared x in the denominator cancel out. So you're going to be left with negative 1 over sine squared x. And look at this. Isn't 1 over sine x cosecant x? Well, there we go. This is the same thing as negative cosecant squared x. 
So this proves that the derivative of cotangent x is equal to negative cosecant squared x. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the answers and the explanations for um, calculating the derivatives of secant, cosecant, and cotangent. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section, and I hope this helps. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day.